I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on spectroscopy. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator and author of the Orgo Man products in the Dot Destroyer book. I'd like to go over a question with you involving spectroscopy. Spectroscopy is a very important part because it gives us a diagnostic test to be able to identify an organic compound. So come around and let's have a look. What I have here is a CAH9BRO compound, and it says that the IR show no signal around 3300. And I give you the NMR data of a triplet, quartet, and multiplet. The first thing that you should do is to calculate what's called the degree of unsaturation. Now, the degree of unsaturation calculation was shown in another video, so I want you to make sure you check that video out. So for those that understand how to calculate the degree, let's do it. We're going to think of a hydrogen and a bromine as the same thing. So for every bromine, I'm going to add a hydrogen, and the oxygens you don't count. So I'm going to think of this compound as a C8H10. Underneath it is the nearest alkane, and you get eight, and you cut it in half, and you get four degrees of unsaturation. What I would do is to go through all the choices and eliminate anything that does not have four degrees of unsaturation. Well, first of all, the 3300 means it says that there's no signal. So that suggests to me that there's no OH group present. I do not believe there is an alcohol group present in this compound. The next thing that catches my eye is the signal at seven, and it says four H's. Anything around seven and four H's suggests a di-substituted benzene ring. Now, if it's di-substituted benzene ring, we can have ortho meta -a -para. Um, What I would probably do is to look at one of the choices and take a quick peek. Let's say we peeked at something that looks like this. I would automatically look at this and say this is a singlet and this is a singlet. Say this is choice A. And notice this says triplet quartet. So I do not believe that would be a choice and I quickly was able to eliminate it. Let's go to another choice. Let's say we had a choice that looked like this. Now, what I would simply do is I would look here and I would see that this signal would be a triplet. It's a triplet because it's next to a carbon with two, and then this signal would be a quartet, because it's next to a carbon with three H's. Now, this signal triplet is the lowest number, which means it's the most shielded. And if it's the most shielded, it's furthest away from every group that's very negative, and that's exactly what I see. So this signal for the most shielded proton is upfield, and it would be an upfield triplet, and that's exactly what's seen. Now, I'm going to show you a nice trick. A CH3 group next to an O, I teach all my students, comes in around delta 3 on the tau scale. If it was a CH2 group next to an O, it would be a little higher, maybe around 3.2. So if this wasn't here, I would expect this quartet to come in around 3.2. But notice there's a benzene ring and a bromine, which is an additional negative group. So I would expect that this quartet to be closer to four. And as you can see, the quartet is at 3.9. So this checks out. And then finally, four H's. There are indeed four H's. If we circle these, those H's would be split by the neighbor, this would be split by into a doublet, and this H would be split into another doublet, and these are different H's, so you would get a doublet of doublets. This doublet of doublets is sometimes very close and will show up as a multiplet. So that would justify the multiplet at around 7.0 for four H's, there's the triplet, and there's the quartet. If I get these H's out of here, just to make it look a little prettier, and we do the final name of this compound, um, I'm going to call this 1-bromo-4-ethoxybenzene. So I think that this would be a mighty fine candidate for this 
data that was given. I hope this helps and gives you a good idea of how to approach these problems. But remember, if it's multiple choice, you can easily eliminate some of the possibilities. Okay, good day to you.